Welcome to KPI Fire. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take an idea from the idea funnel and start a project. From the KPI Fire homepage, you can see all of your employees' ideas and suggestions by clicking on the funnel icon. From here, you can filter the ideas for specific metrics, such as revenue, employee satisfaction, etc., and also for effort impact. So if I want to work on high impact, low effort projects, I can filter, and you can see I have an idea below. To activate the project, I simply click on the idea, which takes me to a project charter page. On the project charter page, I can fill out important details about the project, such as the problem or opportunity statement, the goal statement, what's in and out of scope, which department the project will fall under, and so forth. Once I've completed the project charter, I may want to add some team members. I can find team members by starting to type in their name and add them here. You can also select which team members will be project leader, who will be a sponsor, and who will simply be a member of the team. Once we've completed these two steps, we're ready to activate the project. When I click the Activate button, it pulls up a screen which asks me for a few more details. Specifically, it asks me for the workflow. You can see there are several default workflows that have been created in this company. These are workflows that the team members would typically use to solve a problem or to work on a project. In this case, we're going to choose Demaic Simplified, which is a simplified form of the Demaic problem solving process. By clicking Activate, I can open up the next screen. and You can see that there are a few more tabs that are available here. Workflow, Files, and Messages. If I click on Workflow, this is where most of the project work will be done. I can expand the five phases of Demaic and see several tasks underneath each of those phases. You'll notice that this is a simple task list, which is a very effective way of managing your projects. You can multi-select different tasks, mark the status of the tasks to either doing or done, change the priority, and assign owners to the tasks and due dates. Another key feature is that you can attach files to each of the tasks. So if I have a specific task such as creating a value stream map and I want to attach a value stream map template, I can attach a value stream map template to that default workflow, which makes it available for everyone in my company to use when they reach that step in their project. Your files are also visible here under the Files tab. If your team wants to collaborate, they can send each other messages using the Messages tab. This way, your team can discuss what's going on in the project in real time and make progress even when they're not in a Kaizen meeting or a group meeting together. As you can see, using KPI Fire is a very simple way to manage all of your continuous improvement projects and ensure your team accomplishes their goals on time. Check out our other tutorials to learn about other KPI features and benefits that you can use to help manage your company's strategic goals and continuous improvement process.